Welcome to the Prepper Almanac. Thank you for joining us today. It is deeply appreciated. In today's video we are going to discuss clever and innovative prepper uses for baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. And if I give you value in today's video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. And feel free to share the video with others. It helps me out. And let me know your thoughts about the video in the comment section below. Let's start with prepper uses for baking soda. And if you have additional ideas, please put them in the comment section below. Is there a small orange box lurking in the back of your fridge? The Arm & Hammer brand, which dates all the way back to 1846, has cornered the baking soda market with its bright carton and its familiar logo featuring the Roman god Vulcan's arm. Even some knockoff brands use that recognizable orange color. Baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate or bicarbonate of soda, is a chemical compound that is crystalline in its natural form in nature but is ground to a fine powder for commercial use. Sold in most supermarkets for around $1 for an 8-ounce box or in bulk quantities online for as little as 9 cents per ounce, baking soda is one of the most versatile and economic supplies you can have on hand. Let's go through some of the innovative prepper uses for your household. 1. Baby bottles, clean and soak baby bottles in a solution of baking soda and water. 2. Bugs, sprinkle baking soda along windowsills, doorways, or wherever insects seem to be entering your home as a deterrent. 3. Carpet deodorizer, sprinkle rugs and carpet with baking soda and let it sit overnight. Vacuum in the morning. 4. Cutting boards, clean kitchen cutting boards by scrubbing them with hot water and baking soda. 5. Drains, pour some baking soda down the kitchen and bathroom drains every week to keep it fresh and flowing well. 6. Laundry detergent Make your own laundry detergent with a grated base soap, such as ivory, and baking soda. 7. Laundry deodorizer, for extra smelly loads, like diapers or pet bedding, add a cup of baking soda to boost your laundry detergent. 8. Mattress, clean and deodorize a mattress by sprinkling it liberally with baking soda, allowing it to sit for a few hours, and then vacuuming. 9. Microwave sprinkle baking soda on a damp sponge and wipe it down inside and outside. 10. Oven clean your oven with a solution of 1 cup of warm water and 2 tablespoons of baking soda. 11. Refrigerator, deodorize the fridge by placing an open box of baking soda on a shelf. 12. Silver make a baking soda paste to buff silver before rubbing clean with a dry cloth. 13. Stainless steel, clean and polish stainless steel with a baking soda paste. 14. Toilet, clean and deodorize the toilet by pouring a half cup baking soda into the bowl and letting it sit for an hour or so. 15. Plastic containers, Remove odors and stains from plastic food containers by scrubbing them with baking soda and then soaking them in a solution of baking soda and water. 16. Pots and pans, degrease cookware by scouring them with baking soda and then rinsing with hot water. 17. Antiperspirant, use a powder puff or a cotton ball to dab some baking soda under your arms. 18. Bites and stings, make a paste with water and baking soda and spread it on the painful area. 19. Body aches mix 1 cup of baking soda and 1 cup of apple cider vinegar in a warm bath. 20. Canker sores, mix 1 half teaspoon of baking soda with a pinch of salt and gargle, focusing on the affected area of your mouth. 21. Cold and flu congestion, combine salt, baking soda, and water to make a natural nasal saline rinse for use in a neti pot or as a vapor mist in the shower. 22. Dentures and retainers, soak them overnight in a cup of warm water mixed with 3 tablespoons of baking soda. 23. Diaper rash, soothe diaper rash with a baking soda paste or add a couple of tablespoons to your baby's bathwater. 24. Dry shampoo, brush baking side thoroughly through your hair to deodorize and give hair a gentle pick-me-up between shampoos. 25. Electrolytes, to balance electrolytes or rehydrate, mix 1 teaspoon of baking soda, 1 teaspoon of salt, one package of unsweetened juice mix, and sugar, to taste, into 2 quarts lukewarm water. 26. Toothpaste, mix baking soda with water to make a toothpaste. Brush and rinse. 27. Feet, soak aching feet in 3 tablespoons of baking soda mixed into warm water. 28. Heartburn, sip 1 teaspoon of baking soda mixed with about 4 ounces of warm water. 29. Hives, Rub small amounts of baking soda over the affected areas while you shower. 30. Indigestion, to relieve pain associated with stomach acid, 
Mix 1 or 2 teaspoons of baking soda into a glass of water and drink. 31. Ingrown hairs. Mix 1 tablespoon of baking soda with just enough water to make a paste. Scrub the area and rinse well. Repeat as often as needed to loosen the hair. 32. Jellyfish sting apply a paste made with baking soda and water to the painful area. 33. Mouthwash, mix a quarter cup of baking soda with warm water and add a couple of drops of peppermint oil. Gargle and rinse. 34. Poison ivy and poison oak, apply a paste made with baking soda and water to the itchy and inflamed areas of the skin. 35. Splinter, soak the area in warm water mixed with baking soda to soothe irritation and loosen the splinter for removal. 36. Sunburn, make a thin paste with 1 teaspoon of baking soda and water to apply to the area or soak in bath water mixed with baking soda. 37. Chicken, make chicken feathers easier to remove by dipping the chicken in a pot of boiling water mixed with 1 tablespoon of baking soda in it. Then, plunge the bird into cold water. 38. Eggs, for fluffy scrambled eggs, 1 quarter teaspoon baking soda per 3 eggs. 39. Fish deodorizer, soak raw fish in 2 cups of water mixed with a quarter cup baking soda for about 3 hours to reduce odor. 40. Fruits and vegetables, wash raw fruits and veggies in a sink of cold water mixed with 1 cup of baking soda. 41. Meat tenderizer, tenderize tough cuts of meat by sprinkling and rubbing them gently with baking soda. Allow meat to sit that way for a few in the refrigerator. Then rinse well. 42. Tomatoes, to reduce the acid content. Add a pinch of baking soda to tomatoes as you cook them. 43. Wild game flavor, to reduce the wild taste of game, soak the meat in a solution of 4 cups warm water and 1 cup of baking soda for 3 hours. Rinse well before cooking. 44. Skunk odor, make a shampoo with 1 cup baking soda, 1 tablespoon of dish soap Dawn works well, and 1 quart hydrogen peroxide. Allow it to sit on your pet for 20 minutes before rinsing. 45. Stall freshener, use in and around animal stalls and pens to deodorize and freshen the air. 46. Grills, scrub away sticky, greasy residue with baking soda and a scrub brush. 47. Tools and equipment, clean and scrub tools with baking soda. 48. Battery, clean your car battery and prevent corrosion by wiping the terminals with a baking soda paste every few months. 49. Windshield, a solution of 1 cup of baking soda and 2 cups of water helps repel rain on the windshield. 50. Aphids, sprinkle baking soda in and around garden soil to reduce aphids, spider mites, and scales. 51. Compost smell, help neutralize the odor of your compost pile by sprinkling it with baking soda. 52. Mildew and fungal disease, spray baking soda and water solution directly on leaves to limit the ability of fungal spores to grow. 53. Slugs, repel slugs and snails by sprinkling baking soda wherever you've seen these pests. 54. Weed spread baking soda around your garden edges, walkways, and driveway cracks to kill weeds. As you can see, a prepper should have a large bag or two of baking soda on hand for use in and around the homestead. It's inexpensive, easy to store, biodegradable, and non-toxic. What do you think of these uses and can you think of more? If you are liking the video so far, Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's talk about innovative prepper uses for hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is a staple in almost every home first aid kit. While this product kills germs and protects your body from infections, its use spans far deeper than cleaning scraped knees. This common household product can be used for anything from whitening your teeth to cleaning stains out of clothes. Realize it or not, hydrogen peroxide is one of the most versatile products to have in the home. It has a multitude of uses for maintaining personal health and beauty and is handy to have available for cleaning and even cooking. Hydrogen peroxide is available in different strengths, generally 3% to 35% for domestic use. Unless stated the hydrogen peroxide, even when diluted, listed below is 3%. Always check the correct strength is being used. Let's go through the uses. Keeping the refrigerator clean. To clean the refrigerator, spray the inside with hydrogen peroxide. Washing fruit and vegetables. Remove dirt, wax and other contaminants from fruit and vegetables by spraying them with hydrogen peroxide. Disinfecting cutting boards. Raw meat and other foods are cut on cutting boards and this can lead to germs and bacteria left behind. So the boards need to be regularly cleaned. Cleaning bathroom and kitchen countertops. 
to clean and disinfect countertops in either the bathroom or kitchen spray with hydrogen peroxide. Simply pour 1 to 2 cups of 3% hydrogen peroxide into the toilet bowl and allow it to soak for 30 minutes. Banish mold from your home. Did you know standard 3% hydrogen peroxide is so effective at eliminating mold spores, that even government health agencies recommend this remedy? Leaving mold untreated, can result in serious respiratory illnesses and even constant allergy attacks. Spray until the mold area is completely saturated. Wear protective breathing masks to prevent inhaling mold spores. Use as a toilet cleaner. Just pour half a cup into the toilet and leave for around 30 minutes. This will help clean the bowl and remove any stains. Cleaning tile surfaces. Hydrogen peroxide provides an efficient way to clean tiled surfaces. The dirt and stains can be removed and the surfaces cleaned by spraying the hydrogen peroxide directly on the tiles. Improving seed germination. Fungal spores can impede seed germination. The spores can be removed and germination improved by soaking the seeds in hydrogen peroxide. Cleansing humidifiers. Hydrogen peroxide can be used to cleanse humidifiers by adding a pint of the liquid to a gallon of water. By running the solution through the humidifiers they are disinfected and any mold or mildew growing inside them removed. Cleaning rugs and carpets. Hydrogen peroxide in the home can be used to clean dirty rugs and carpets. Dropped food and spilled drinks can also mark the carpet. To clean them spray on hydrogen peroxide. It is important to test this cleaning method on a hidden area first as the substance can bleach some fabrics. Contact lens cleaner. Hydrogen peroxide in the home is very useful for people who wear contact lenses. The lenses can be soaked in the solution overnight to remove protein buildup and leave them clean for wearing again next morning. Use as an all-purpose cleaner. All-purpose cleaners are expensive and can eat into the household budget. To save those hard-earned dollars use hydrogen peroxide which is a cheaper, and viable, alternative to those commercial cleaners. Hydrogen peroxide can be used undiluted or mixed with water for cleaning. Dishwasher detergent. Dishwasher detergent can be expensive so a good way to save money is by mixing it with hydrogen peroxide. Also save on ordinary detergent by using hydrogen peroxide when hand washing the dishes. Use directly on clothing to remove stubborn stains. Stains such as blood can vary stubborn and difficult to remove from clothing. One option to deal with this is to use hydrogen peroxide and pour it directly on the stain. Leave for a minute, rub, and then rinse with cold water. If need be repeat the process. Disinfecting toothbrushes to ensure oral hygiene is maintained it is important that toothbrushes are regularly disinfected. One way to do this by soaking them in hydrogen peroxide is it will help kill the bacteria and germs which thrive in the typical bathroom and which can infect toothbrushes. Growing mushrooms in a refrigerator One of the lesser known benefits of having hydrogen peroxide in the home is that it can be used for growing oyster mushrooms in a refrigerator. The process involves freezer bags and a gallon of diluted hydrogen peroxide. This is not a quick way to grow oyster mushrooms, it takes around 6 months but the end result is well worth the wait. Health Uses Treating Foot Fungus To treat foot fungus mix hydrogen peroxide and water in a darkened bottle hydrogen peroxide should not be exposed to sunlight. Apply to the area affected by the foot fungus. Alternatively you can try the mouthwash home remedy instead. Dealing with skin mite infections using hydrogen peroxide can be a home cure for people suffering skin mites. Dealing with the problem is quite simple. If the hydrogen peroxide is sprayed on the affected area of skin and the process repeated a few minutes later then the mites will be killed. Relieving ear infections. Putting 6 to 8 drops of hydrogen peroxide in the ear using a small dropper bottle will ease the symptoms and help clear up the infection, or you can try this instead. Preventing swimmer's ear. To avoid ear infection, swimmer's ear, mix hydrogen peroxide and vinegar in a small dropper bottle. Following the swim put a few drops in each ear to prevent infection developing. Removing earwax. To remove earwax first put 2 drops of hydrogen peroxide in the affected ear. Wait for a couple of minutes then put a couple of drops olive oil in the ear. After another minute drain all the fluid from the ear and that will clear the wax. Softening corns and calluses on the feet. To soften corns and calluses on the feet make a foot soak using equal parts hydrogen peroxide and warm water. Soak the feet in the mixture and the hydrogen peroxide will soften any corns and calluses quite naturally. Use as an antiseptic mouth rinse to take advantage of hydrogen peroxide teeth whitening use it as antiseptic mouthwash. As well as whitening teeth the hydrogen peroxide will also kill germs in the mouth which lead to bad breath. Disinfecting small wounds. To disinfect small wounds and avoid infection use hydrogen peroxide as it is a natural antiseptic. Easing toothache. 
If someone is suffering toothache the pain can be eased by rinsing or gargling with a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and coconut oil. This benefit is down largely to hydrogen peroxide's antibacterial properties. Clear infected sinuses. Infected sinuses are very painful. One way to clear the sinuses and provide relief from the pain is to make a homemade nasal spray using hydrogen peroxide. The amount of hydrogen peroxide to be used will depend on the severity of the infection, but generally 3% HP mixed in a cup of non-chlorinated water should do the trick. Remove airborne germs from your home. Place one pint of 3% hydrogen peroxide for every gallon of water within your humidifier. Allow the humidifier to continuously run. The antibacterial and disinfecting properties of hydrogen peroxide gently infiltrate the room to prevent airborne germs from infiltrating your home. Note, this is an excellent way to prevent colds and other sicknesses from lingering in your home or office. Wash away the pesticides, vegetable cleaner. Fresh vegetables are often produced using spray pesticides and other potentially harmful chemicals. Prevent these, and any germs, from infecting your family by adding cup of 3% hydrogen peroxide into a large mixing bowl. Combine with 3 cups of water and soak fruits and vegetables for 20 to 30 minutes. Rinse and refrigerate. Fight away colds and viruses with hydrogen peroxide or drops. By placing 2 to 3 drops of pure 3% hydrogen peroxide into each ear, holistic proponents claim cold and flu durations are significantly lowered. After placing the drops in one ear, allow the peroxide to bubble for 5 to 10 minutes before tilting your head and allowing the peroxide, and ear wax, to drain out. Repeat on the other ear. As we wrap up today's video, if you have any questions or if there are any topics that you would like discussed in the future, let us know in the comment section below. We love to get video ideas from the community. And let us know what you think of today's video as well. We always appreciate input. Be sure to like today's video and subscribe to the channel to learn more about prepping and share the video with others that may have a passion for prepping or are curious about prepping in general. In addition, to support the channel feel free to click the thanks button below. And lastly we have put some links to some prepper supplies that you might want to check out in the description below. Thanks for watching the Prepper Almanac.